I mean, I think we've beaten the the, the Hooney topic to death. <laughs> the other player I want to talk about that we mentioned briefly here was your experience playing with Piglet. Um, I know that this guy, like, <laughs> I know you laugh. Okay, you laugh instantly, so I, I expect uh, to, to get some juice out of this. But, um, yeah, I mean, this is guy is, like, former world champion, had a huge storied career. You played with him in clutch in spring. Um, yeah. and then you guys got even nine. replaced even got replaced <laughs> by him eventually he's yeah, a fucking yeah, mid laner yeah. <laughs> how, how was it because like I mean my experience playing with Piglet was like this guy like would just not talk in scrims like if if like things would go wrong he'd be like mute you know like wouldn't really want to do team discussions kind of like would lose faith in certain teammates and just not like talk to them anymore really how, how did you feel playing with him like did any of this stuff ever get better in NA or yeah, what do nah, you think? <laughs> no, it's just like it was the same kind of stuff. Like, <laughs> okay. if, if the game went wrong, he would just mute, or like he would just go on his phone and vod review or something, and it would just be like, okay, I guess this is fine. And then I like, like just like random stuff like that. But if there's like one thing about Piglet, it was like if he was in control of the game and we were going into like a team fight or something, I knew for sure we would win. This guy was just so insane at the game. Mm -hmm. But it's just like everything outside of the game was just not there for him. But like I've never seen such a like insane team fighter mechanics, just stuff like that. He is so crazy. Yeah, no, he that's was really the good. area I I feel like is always misunderstood about these guys. Right when they all get labeled as toxic, because like Forgiven's a good example. I would even say in terms of playing style, people think the same about Frog and that he was very selfish as a player. He just wanted his lead. The reason why they do it though makes sense. At one point in time, they were all like not only the best player on their team, but sometimes the best in their region, and they were always have the lead. So their logic was what the logic probably should be. Like whoever has the lead is one of the carries in the game probably should have some of the like direction of what happens in the game. Because what you're saying is I've got a lead. Here's how we can use it to win the game. So the problem is those guys, I think just get like addicted to that though. And eventually one day they're not the best player. They're not even the guy with the carry in the game, but they're still trying to play as though like, if you play through me, we win the game. Cause as you say, like even when he was in clutch, you'd still have some games where you just carry the whole fucking game. It's just, it wasn't every game like he thought it was seemingly. And eventually, unfortunately where that does become toxic in my opinion is when they sort of like, instead of recognizing like I don't carry anymore, they flip it and they're like, oh, it's because you didn't do everything I said that I couldn't count. Like, that's when it becomes toxic, where you just blame everyone else, basically. It can't always be your teammates' fault. Yeah. I mean, one thing I, I wanted... I, well, before you go into your, your point, I just wanted to ask this question. You, you, This was the split where he actually did play mid. Like, did he play some mid over you at some point? It was like week nine he played mid. When okay. we were already out, we were already out of playoffs, so there was no like there was no hope. I don't know. They just like put him mid for some reason. I don't know. He played like a really or something. I think. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, no, he was like playing Rise or something. He just like he kind of okay. got dumpstered. It was like really weird. How 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 was that when when you just got the news? It's like by the way, uh, you're getting replaced by Piglet mid lane. <laughs> like, did you think? I I don't know, dude. I was just like, okay, I guess Piglet just runs the team or something. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Holy fuck! All right. What were you gonna say before I uh, just I, injected that? <laughs> It was just something around that time, or around that like same idea. It's just like now that I'm not playing with any Korean imports, it's like a lot nicer. <laughs> I don't know. It's like they they kind of the when I when I played with the Korean imports, I feel like they just controlled the team so much. Whereas like I wasn't able to do, I, I didn't have my own uh, say. Sometimes it was kind of just like I was their I was their pawn. I don't know. Maybe it's oh, you I'm can not, say it, dude. Uh, you were their bitch. Yeah, sure. I mean, like... yeah, sure. I mean, I don't know. It just feels like I have. Maybe it was because I was a rookie too. They just kind of expected me to be like that. But it was just like they kind of ran the team. I felt it was just interesting. I mean, yeah. what you're saying is a real factor. Like, remember in Korea, age is literally a metric yeah. by which you, you decide who gets to say it. So as weird as it might seem to a Westerner, especially in your case, like in your case, the argument would be like, but dude, I'm the mid laner. Like, I should obviously have to say it. Like, but to them, they would think like, well, I'm the veteran. I'm older than you. I've done more than you in my career. And also I'm Korean, so I know Korean macro. So I'm sure they had like a million reasons why yeah. they just thought you were just some fucking like, like stunt dummy or something in mid lane. Like, whereas you actually like, dude, I'm like one of the better players. It was like one of the biggest issues between me and like Piglet for sure, where I just like, I feel like I never could get heard. And it took me so long to realize that I might as well just not argue with him because it's never going to go anywhere. I don't know. I feel like a, a lot of players have similar experiences with that. Yeah. I, I mean, it's crazy that you could have like the two different, um, the two different mindsets, right? Because the person we just talked about before is like someday who's like, yeah, Tommy, you get all the counter picks. I am B1 Renekton every <laughs> single game. <laughs> and you just see him like play, play fucking Renekton. Like you're, you're watching him just like try to clear the side lane. Tommy walks past, misses two skill shots on the cannon or on the fucking super minion, just goes back to mid lane. It's like, yep, this is fine. Like, how do you actually not lose your mind when you're in that fucking. <laughs> 
position, man. And Dude, just... you know what? You know what my dream is. I heard that clip actually Holy today, shit. Dom. Because since I subscribed to that like clips channel you have now, obviously the YouTube algorithms just fucked me. It just recommended me all your videos, right? But I saw that one you did where it was like a one minute clip where you had Featherman on your stream. Mm-hmm. By the way, I told everyone he's one of the best personalities if you get him going, oh. basically. And oh, he has that hilarious little rant he does, which he's obviously half trolling, yes. where he just says like, you know, like, like. Like, what fucking pro player could even calculate, you know, like the damage like the items would do and stuff? Like, I'm not a fucking nerd, but then he says the line <laughs> straight fire. He says, like, plus, like, why would I learn all that shit? I'm already a pro. It's like, yeah. the reason that's genius is I want Hooney to do his own version of that, where it's like, well, why would I learn the matchups and like what to do in the game? I already, I've already got the job. It's like, because <laughs> what's fucked is there's almost a logic to that there actually almost is a logic it's not quite it's trolling but yeah. there's almost a logic to it it's funny put it that way you, you know what, what the best is about those types of clips is just seeing like reddit's reaction because like people get so they're like what the fuck this guy doesn't care about items like he doesn't care about math <laughs> fuck this guy money, like on. they get so mad working. for no reason it's like Dude, have you ever interacted with another human being in your entire fucking life? <laughs> like, can you not tell sarcasm when somebody's like joking? Like, yes, dude, yes, he actually doesn't care about item bills. He also doesn't want to win either. Yes, he, he doesn't give a fuck because he's already a pro.